welcome you guys to Butler Kennel Rock Wilders. Let me put this in right quick. Cause I'm trying to. All right. Should we put that like that? Ah. Nope. Not just yet. Get everybody on this thing here. Turning. All right. So this is what usually happens when I gotta get everything situated, and I'm still not right. Mm. All right. There we go. All right. Should have already did this already, but you guys know. Give you guys some a little bit of time for everybody coming in anyway right now. So mm. I like it. You like it? I like it. Alright, so welcome you guys to Butler Kennel Rockwallers, man. Today is going to be about how much what does it cost, right? So uh first and foremost, welcome you guys to the show. Uh it's Friday Night Lights. Uh, you guys know Fridays, we just kind of go, you know, we talk about things, man. Let's talk about it. If you got questions, uh, answer your questions live, um, you know, simple things like that. If you are, um, before we get started, anybody's coming in and all that kind of good stuff there, um, please understand that. And be first comment, congratulations, my boy. <laughs> um, so understand, um, I'm going to go over my time with you guys first. Um my hours of operations are 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. I'm officially already closed already for today. Um, if you guys have not done so yet, um, we're already closed for today. Um, I was going to do something. I forgot. Uh, anyway, um, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Here we guys, you go. This is going to be a really short one, honestly, you guys. I hope it is because I got things I got to get done as well. So today I just really want to go over a lot of stuff with you guys about how much does it really cost? Like, what is the real cost on a lot of things, man? Um, uh, first, uh, I got to give a shout out to Jackie for her birthday today. Uh, happy birthday to Jackie. Um, also, uh, to everybody else out there, man, celebrating birthdays and good days. I hope you all having a good, positive day. So... Today, I had a good conversation. Um, I'm going to go over a lot of stuff or whatever cases because it made me uh, think about it a lot as well, too. I had the pleasure of talking to the queen, Sky, called, and then um, we talked about some good stuff. And she made some good valid points. Um, I had a subject I was going to talk about tonight as well, too, but that kind of helps in a little bit. And so, um, actually, we got to talking about some of the importance of what you need to prepare as what a dog's cost, what's it gonna cost you, how much money you need to have, how much your breeder's actually spending on their dogs to give you quality, how much you should be able to get ready to spend on your dog because your dog is gonna need to have, you you, you yourself are gonna need to have some money set aside for your dogs. Um, if you are, if you are, um, I don't know why I feel weird today. Um, if you are, Thinking about getting a dog, or you already own a dog, then you already kind of already know exactly what some of the stuff, um, um, some of the things that you got to put in place. First and foremost, like my other video said, I will automatically say, let me first start by saying I apologize to anybody. I made this look easy. Um, you know, it's a lot of things that goes on behind cameras or things that's on the everyday business. It's not just about cute puppies and all that good stuff. If that was the case, everybody would have uh, cute puppies and all that kind of good things there as well. So, yeah, why do I gotta do this every day? Why must I do this with you guys all the time, man? It's 130 of you guys in here. Smash the like button, give it a thumbs up, and let's get out there started. Y'all know I like to get started around like 180 likes, you know, then we get right into it, right? Um, I do gotta do something right quick, though. Come on, let's Matter of fact, come walk with me. I need to get my other phone um so we're gonna go outside right quick and yes we will go see the puppies don't worry we're, we're we are going to go see the puppies we are going to see the big dogs we're going to see the little dogs we're going to see a whole lot of stuff so um let's go ahead and run it up man 152 of you guys in here right now and it's only 48 likes right now so let's go ahead and get it popping let's get it going so we all can be a part of it right now right so Luckily, I'm not going to just hold you guys off until we get the likes. So I'm just going to go ahead anyway. Makes me feel. Y'all y'all already know what having a lot of likes. A lot of people in here and not a lot of likes makes me feel like, right? Y'all guys already know what that makes me feel. I feel.
be late. What I'm doing right now is actually looking for my spoon. You guys don't mind me. So, um, so we're gonna actually, I'm gonna go inside real quick. I can't pin anything right now. Hey, Bubba. Hi. You know my uh, my phone's at? My other phone? Which one are you on? Let me look for it. You're on the live. Yes, I'm on the live and I'm in my house. Yes, I know. Wait, so, um, I'm in here and. I'm looking for it. You stay right here. I'm oh, my bad. My bad. Okay, so, you guys, so check this out. Um, what I'm about to do right now is. Well, they're going to look for my phone anyway. So, my other phone is my secondary phone, what I use to narrate the phone calls and all that kind of stuff there. I don't know if I put it on back of the. Oh, I found it. It's in the back of the Corvette. Found it. All right, so you guys know this all on. I found it. No, this phone, my secondary phone, the one I can pin everything on because I can't pin it unless I have this one. All right, so um, anyway, you guys. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so listen, first and foremost, if you're asking me about how much a puppy costs in my timeline, delete it. All right, so that's the first thing. Let's just start off with that. If you're gonna put a comment in there, if you don't think that if I wanted to post my prices on my page, I could post it in the title, I could make it, I could pin it. There's a reason why, there's a reason why I do not post my, my prices on my timeline or even talk about it on my timeline for a really good reason. And there is a good reason for it. All right, so. Mr. Fleming, what's going on? All right, so we are back. All right, look, I got I got settled in for a little bit, all right? So check this out. Um, There is a reason why I don't post about prices of my dogs on the timeline. I'm gonna get to it really. So you guys, if you have asked me, how much is a dog, what a dog costs and all that kind of stuff, just delete it, all right? And take it off or whatever. Cause I'm never, um, if 17 years I've never posted about it, I'm not gonna start now. Um, and I do believe that if you are a really serious person and you're really serious about wanting a dog from me, you would then pick up the phone during my business hours or text me, heck, even send me a message on Messenger. Um, hell, send me an email, something. But to just to write it on there, it's just, to me, I think it's tacky. And I think it's like, it's not really serious. Like, you're just inquiring, like, hey, how much prices? is? Like, you get to me, you get to me, you don't, you don't. You know what I mean? If I want something, if I tell people like, hey, I have a gold pot that's for free, it's for you, come and get it. You're going to call me and ask me, where is that? You're not going to just be like, hey, he's giving away $10 million. Let me just type, how much, where is it at? Like, your location. You're going to call me. You're going to want to be like, hey, that's me. You really want it. That weeds out a lot of the people that are just here to talk about what they really want and not really want it. You know what I mean? Um, so, <laughs> MJ Rock wants to 18 years in a few days. Yeah, bro. We're, we're hitting up on 18 years, you guys. So, you know, the less you know, consistency is have definitely been key. You guys can stop me from putting this on. You, you guys hear the little puppies crying and all that kind of stuff? All right. She said he's just a friend. All right, I'm just trying to pin this comment so everybody else can just um pin messages been pinned. All right, so I'm gonna get back to what I was saying in the beginning because I know I got a short term memory. Y'all, guys know we are 186 people in here right now. We only got 85 likes, which means it's 101 of you guys that don't like what you're watching, but you're watching. So I don't know. Maybe you just don't want to hit the like button. Maybe you don't want to hit the support button. I don't know. I don't ask for money from you guys. I just ask for a little thumbs up. Hit me hit a good little like button. You know, get started before we get before we really get into it. Because you guys know we're going to watch videos. We're going to see the puppies. We're going to go outside. Might go for four wheelers. Yeah, we might even go ride a cow tonight. Who knows, man? But we're going to do some good stuff for you guys as well. Um... No, Treese, you weren't supposed to give him my, my birthday. Don't don't tell him my birthday. Then he gonna he gonna try to send something and ignore him. 
Uh, that's my boy, though. That's my boy, though. That's my boy. So I'm gonna get to you guys comment in a second. All right, so let me just get to some facts where you guys are coming here for instead of just blabbing on about a lot of good stuff, right? Um, all right, so first and foremost, let's... Oh, appreciate you guys just jumped it up to 110 likes. Appreciate it. Thank you. 189 of you guys, 110 likes. Let's go. All right, so what's it gonna cost? This big old bunch of money, you know, I'm balling because I got... Wait, one, two... I got... 20, 40, 45, 50, $53, you know what I'm saying, balling. Don't try to just hate when people be doing like this on the thing, acting like they got a lot of money, they keep doing like this, and like, you know, you counted it before you went on thing or whatever, it's crazy. All right, so, I was talking with Sky today, had a good conversation with Sky. Um, Sky said she wanted to ask me one question, and then we went to two questions and three questions, and then four, and then five, and then maybe like 10 questions later, we were <laughs> I'm just messing with this guy. No, we actually had a really good conversation and she made up a lot of, every point she made up was actually pretty valid. Um, about from what do you need to do or you know, what's it gonna cost or what you need to do before you get your dog. And when you're thinking about it, I want you guys to really understand this. Like if you have a pen and paper, go grab a pen and paper, like go grab it. Or, dang it, I left my, my dry erase board at the house. I was gonna draw and show you guys and do a little classroom stuff. This board I can't use because I got important stuff on there. So, but, um, all right, better yet, you know what? We can do this. We can have a classroom. Let's have a classroom. Let's have a classroom, you guys. So, so before we actually get to the classroom, let me show you guys. Um, yeah, that'd be good. If you could bring it to me, that'd be awesome. Like, that'd be awesome. So while she's bringing me the board so we can have a nice classroom, let's get started with you guys' puppies. If you're on here, you guys know it. Bam! What's up, mama? What up, little boo? Then we got some more puppies over here right quick. Now these mats, I don't know why these mats are in here because they keep these puppies here specifically, spe specifically, keeps um, tearing it up into a ball. I don't know why. That's what they do. Mama's over there like, man, leave me alone. They're in here like, yo, we're good. Um, then we have over here. So if you look, that litter used to be over here, which they will go back on there, but it's sanitizing right now, which make sure this is what you guys need to learn how to do when you're doing your dog sanitization because it's going to cost you a lot of money in the long run for the bad part. Then we have another litter over here. You see puppies just drinking and eating and all that kind of stuff there. Then we got Mama Bear over here just looking at me like, what's up, man? Should we go in here? Let's go in here. I know you guys going to be like, I'm going to go anyway. We got that lady. What's up, baby girl? What's up, baby girl? It's open. It's open. It's the It's what? FBI. FBI open up. FBI open up. FBI. Oh, knew they said? Y'all didn't give enough no sauce. They said y'all don't give enough sauce. I found it. What? Huh? You found it? You found some sauce? You found that sauce? Oh. Ooh. 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 Give me that. Oh, give me that. Oh, give me that. Oh, oh, give me. Oh, oh, oh. You like two stick men. Two little stick men. Two little stick men. Two little stick men. Stiff as I don't know what. Why did you put some oil on you, guy? You stiff as a board, man. You stiff as a board. Man, you ain't even clean it off or nothing, man. Oh, I'll clean it. No, it's good, it's good, it's cool. No, it's good, it's cool. Get out of here. <laughs> oh man. Talk about teamwork. I'm telling you, boy. See, y'all, y'all, y'all be thinking this up be edited. I've been telling y'all, this is all raw cut on raw footage. You know what I'm saying? This is that raw footage. What you gonna get? That raw footage. All right. Um all right so put that championship belt in there you know what i'm saying pit sky out the little belt right here because sky be trying to steal my belt so when sky picks her dogs up i gotta hide all this stuff i gotta hide my belts and stuff all right let's do class in session right you know what Make it easier. Make it easy. 
Take it. Take it easy. All right, here we go. I'm not getting up anymore right now until. I'm just cleaning my board off right now. Cause we about to have some class right quick. And I think it's best to, why is it 200 people and 215 people in here and only 129? Boy, y'all boys don't be showing no love at all, boy. I'm telling you about love. Take my. Take my god dog on Friday. I could be out there doing some saucing with my kids and stuff. But instead, I'm doing videos with my other family. And they don't even show all the love. Only half show love. But it's all right. I get it. We're going to be successful regardless. Whether you smash that like button or not. Um, some people actually believe that if they don't hit the like button, you're not going to be successful. And I, and, I, and I know there's some people who watch my videos. They're not watching because they're supporting. They're watching so they can just catch it and try to see. But little did they know. I can see who's watching. You see what I'm saying? But it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Some people just watch in the corner and say, oh, I don't say nothing. I don't say nothing. I can see it. You know what I mean? All right. So I'm going to start by, we're going to have a board, right? So then we're going to go over what's the price of you owning a dog What's the price of owning a kennel? What's the price of everything? What's what you have to pay to maintain a dog? What your breeder has to pay? Just everything dealing with money. Cause guess what? People will say, um, people will say, money don't do every. What well, everybody's all about money, money, money. Listen, everything you do is evolves around money. I don't care how you look at it. The clothes you got on cost money. The house you live in cost money. The car you drive costs money. The dog you have obviously gonna cost you money, even if it was given to you for free. You gotta feed it, you gotta take care of it, you gotta bathe it, wash it, spend water on it, clean it, house it, whatever. Everything around you is gonna cost money, right? And I wanna break it down to you what you should look to. And there's certain things that you should avoid that's gonna save you a lot of money. Now, this should probably be a consult, but I'm gonna give you free game tonight, right? Um, look at that. I told y'all that's gonna be a real quick minute. We're already 17 minutes in. We we just now getting started. All right. Golly, where's my all right? Live chat. Let's go to my live chats. And then I'm gonna go to the very, very beginning of my live chat so I can get some of you guys recognition for being in here right now. You know what I mean? Trees, don't talk to Sky. Sky, don't talk to Trees. Y'all guys be in here for real, boy. Y'all, y'all two. I'm gonna block y'all two. Y'all two can't see each other. Cheryl Merrill was, oh, listen, you guys, when I say Cheryl, I'm not talking about Cheryl Merrill. Cheryl is the equivalent of a Karen, but in the dog world, Cheryl. That's Butler Kendall's way of saying the Karen. So whatever, you know what I mean? Just let you know. Um, love the show. Love show you dogs and puppies see you. Okay, appreciate it. <laughs> Redditary Sensei, like the got dog on video. We got you guys, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um... Matthew Lacefield, my brother. Y'all give a shout out to Matthew Lacefield. That's my brother for real, though. From a different mother. <laughs> my birthday is March 20th. I'm going to ask for a new hat. So I said, <laughs> Matthew wants to send a new... Everybody, um, what Matthew Lacefield is asking, and if you look at the comments, he's asking for a new hat because he has a big old ball spot in the middle of his head and he thinks by covering it up it's going to make a difference. But everybody needs to let Matthew know we love him regardless if he has a ball spot or not. His wife loves it, obviously. Um, well, she deals with it, should I say. Um, it is clean. Like, it's his head is cleaner in the middle than on the side. <laughs> hey, listen. Matthew gives me a hard time every day, you guys. So this, that's what we brothers do because I love him, man. All right. But um, thanks so much, Mr. Buff from Oklahoma. Marshawn Fleming, man, big shout out to you. Jill, what's going on with you guys, man? MJ Rockwaller, 18 years in a few days. Absolutely, let's get it popping. Rockwalls are awesome. Appreciate it. Uh, can I bring it? Um, I love the teamwork. Appreciate it. Um, all right. Do you sell merch? I like Butler Kendall's t-shirt. Yes, I do. I do sell merch. Um, I will be showing you guys. I have sizes medium to 2x right now only on the shirts and long sleeves so if you want a shirt you can contact me during my business hours are you know you want to send me 
Um, yeah, just call me. That, that way I'll get a, I'll get you set up. If you want to buy some merch, I got you. And shirts and all that kind of good stuff. We only got right now only having shirts and long sleeve shirts. Um, everything's not in yet, but I got you. Um, da -da -da -da. You're almost at 100K. Let's go. I am. And thank you guys very, very much. We're at, what, 93? No, 99.3 last I checked. It was... So I'm gonna tell you right now, I could normally be like, yeah, I really don't care. Like, is I'm a, no, I'm not. I'm excited. Like, I want to hit 100k so bad. Like, it's it's crazy. Like, I'm gonna let you know, I'm not gonna try to be prideful. Like, oh no, it's not about the likes. It's, heck no, I want 100k. And you guys, thank you guys for making it happen. So anyway, let's get right to it. All right, I'll get the rest of stuff later. Okay, so when you're looking at a dog, right? This puppy that you have, you have the dog. All right, that's gonna cost you money, right? You have your dog that's gonna cost you money already. When you're, that's why I hate when people call me and they're like, "Hey, man, I don't have a lot of money, and I'm on, I'm on, um, I'm on uh, fixed income, and I can't really afford your dogs." Then if you can't afford a dog from me, then you need to go to the shelter and get a dog that way. Because if you can't afford my dog, even pay for my dog, which lets me know you're not gonna be able to upkeep the maintenance and the value of these dogs. So what I mean by that is I'm going to use it for example like cars. If you have Shelly, Cheryl, Cheryl, and let's use Tim, right? So Cheryl and Tim decides to buy the same dog, right? They bought two dogs. I'm just, right now we're just going off the dog itself. We're not talking about anything else, just the dog because we forget the dog, you got the dog. So right now, Cheryl has a dog. She bought one dog. One dog, both, let's say both males, right? Cheryl bought a dog that's, she, she spent $500 for her dog, right? And let's say Tim spent 2000 for his dog, right? These are not my prices, I'm just saying. Let you know, these are not my prices, so don't call me asking me like, you sell a dog for this and I do not. So $500 for Cheryl, because Cheryl says, hey, you know what? I just want a nice dog, I just want a little doggy puppy. Somebody on back of the truck at Walmart was selling a dog and the dog looked cute. So they, so Cheryl got it. Tim said, hey man, I want to get a nice dog and whatever. And he wanted to spend for a little bit more quality. Look at these two things here as cars first before the dogs, right? Look at it as cars. And the reason I said that is like, so equivalent, this is a Beetle. This is a Mercedes, right? A Beetle and a Mercedes or a Pinto. Whatever. If you own a Beetle, I apologize, okay? I'm not talking bad about you. You're only using it as an example. Because I'm like, I want a Beetle and it's the best Beetle in the world. Listen, I got you. I got you, Cheryl. I got you. Your, your Beetle is nice. You got a really nice Beetle, supercharged Beetle. We know. So, you have a $500 car. Someone has a $2,000 car, Mercedes. It's going to cost you more up front, but you're going to get a better quality over here. This person over here is spending $500. But guess what's going to start happening? Not saying always, but in most cases, what's going to happen is this one has bad leg problem. You got to go to the vet, $1,000, right? Go to the vet, $1,000. The dog's always sick, need medicine all the time or whatever the case is, another $1,000, right? And we're just talking about in the year time, not over the lifetime, just over the one year time. $1,000, $1,000. This guy here spent $1,000. Now, when it comes to food and stuff, you're gonna spend the same amount of amount. So I don't add that in there. It's gonna, it's just gonna balance itself off. So dog's gonna eat what he eats. So you spend two thousand. This person's already at, so far, it's already at twenty five hundred, right? This person's still at two thousand. That's just the minimum. I'm not even going into, you know, that's just the first year. And over time, Cheryl's gonna pay way more than Tim is simply because Cheryl decided to buy a more quality. I mean, Tim decided to buy. Tim's going to spend a lot less overall because he decided to buy more quality, just like your cars. Mercedes, not saying every Mercedes, but overall, Mercedes are going to be a more reliable car. Volkswagen, you might got to keep putting oil into that car every time. It's cheaper, but over time, you spend so much money on oil, you could just went and bought a brand new car from the beginning and save your money and not have to go through all this like Cheryl did. Don't be Cheryl, you guys. So my example the whole day is going to be, don't be like Cheryl. Um, so, uh, I heard somebody call me on there. Let me see. Um, 
Let me see. I'm just gonna get you guys comments so we're gonna get back in here as well. So um all right, so you have that for example, right? All right. Don't be like Cheryl or Chad, right? So Cheryl and Chad is not who we want to be like. So let's be like Sky. No, that's too close to Cheryl's. These C's and S's and stuff. So anyway, so that's the first part, right? So let's go with, that's just the price of the dog, what you're going to be spending on the dog, right? So then you say, well, guess what? I got a lot of love to give my dog. I mean love. Like, I'm a, I'm a... I'm a single mom that has no kids or a dad with no kids. Cheryl says, hey, listen, I got nothing but time and Chad, right? We got Cheryl and, no, we can't do Cheryl and Chad. We're going to do Cheryl and Chad on one side. And then we're going to do, let me think of somebody named, who, who got a dog for me in this thing? We're going to be like Jill, right? Jill. Right? So we got Chad on one side and Cheryl on one side and Jill on one side, right? So um we're gonna do Cheryl and Sky because they I talked to them to the I talked to them today. So all right. Um <laughs> I'm gonna do Sky. Like we don't know. <laughs> oh Tasha. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. So we got these two here, right? We got Sky in here. Then we got Jill in here on this side as well, right? So let's just go for example, right? So now you already got the dog. Tim is already winning. Cheryl and Chad is already losing because they already spending more money on a dog. Health to, and we all know it's cost more than a thousand dollars because nowadays vet bills are going to cost you three times as much for a simple medication that you're going to go to. That's why your boy in the meantime, Got all my laboratory stuff. We'll go over that stuff in a minute. You know, what it costs to really own a dog and my level, your level, everybody's level. Right? Because I get this question a lot. Hey, how much money do you think I should be able to save? How much should I be saving up? It's like having a kid. There's no direct answer, but I'm going to give you a ballpark because some of my knucklehead kids cost me more than the other one. Now, I do have a little girl. And let me tell you, this is her savings. Around here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen, <laughs> listen to everybody who has a little girl. Y'all should have told me I'm gonna be broke. <laughs> I'm gonna be broke. Anyway, let's go carry on. Let's continue on. So, same thing with the car stuff. So we have that now. Having that car, you're gonna need to well get the car. We're gonna go to the next part. Maintenance on your on your dog, which means you got to have money for housing right now someone's gonna be like well i got a lot of love for these dogs i have to yeah love don't pay for nothing that's the sad thing about it you can't go to the restaurant and tell the restaurant hey i got nothing but love for this restaurant i love mickey d's i love mcdonald's and i just want to have i want to pay for this quarter pounder with love they're gonna tell you yeah love you behind in your purse or your wallet and pay me for my cheeseburgers i'm giving you service that's the thing about it so that's why it's funny when I hear people on here talk about don't shop adopt. The dogs you see in the adoption are people who don't care for their dogs. That's why those dogs that end up in the shop are the Cheryls. Cheryl dogs end up in the adoption agency or in the shelters and all that kind of stuff. Why? Because Cheryl decided not to get a quality dog and then they want to blame the people who actually breathe the right way and give quality dogs and they get mad at you. Like it's stupid like i know i'm saying a lot of bad words but that's stupid like right they'll tell you adopt don't shop like don't shop with a professional person but go to the person that mistreated their dogs and didn't take care of their dogs and get one of those dogs while they have 10 dogs and they're mad because now the dog just turn on you because you know nothing about that dog now that dog turns on you it becomes bad now you're sitting here upset mad you guys again don't be like cheryl right Cheryl is the person, right? Like, I'm telling you, man. Um, so what I'm telling y'all is you have to understand from the very beginning how you start building your house is how your house is going to last, like how well your house will last. If you start off with using the bad foundation, which means, i.e., in reference to your dog, if you get a sad dog, 
you know, y'all know my words, trash. Like, listen, when I say trash, the dog itself can still be loved and you can love on your dog and everything else. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying, what I mean by trash is the quality of the dog and breeding of the dog and all that kind of stuff. That's just the trash part. The dog itself is love and beautiful and can't help it. I told you guys in the beginning, some of the some of my best dogs I've had as a kid was was a mutt. A mutt is a dog that has more than one breed into that dog. You know, like a rock wall of pit bull mix and, you know, did in the hood and stuff. But that's what that is. So if you are going to get a dog, your foundation is your key. You cannot get, you can't, this is the biggest problems you're going to see, right? Let me show you the biggest problems. I'm going to tell you, you know, it's not even a, it's not even a, a, a Cheryl problem. I'm going to give you guys a class and I should do this with my people who pay for it, but I'm going to give it to you for free today. Let's say. see it the right way so this is what most breeders do wrong i'm gonna get you I'm, I'm gonna tell you what most breeders do you ever see a lot of these breeders come up now with a bunch of new you like where this breeder came from some breeders just pop out of nowhere don't have any background don't have and don't get me wrong i love and support breeders i love to see people achieve and do things but we got to do it the right way first we got to do it the right way you're right, Isaac McKinney. <laughs> I just said the moral story is don't be sure. Oh, listen, you don't be sure. Shout out to, to Isaac and Tish. Big shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? I love them. You, you guys probably see them tomorrow. If I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully tomorrow we'll see them, but we got a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, um, they bought a dog for me a long time ago to Max and you'll see Max and all that. Anyway, so listen, so we go here, right? Most breeders would do this here, and this is the reason why a breeder would buy a dog for a thousand dollars, right? Let's say they buy one dog for a thousand and the male for a thousand because everybody got that male, right? Everybody wants the top male and they go jinky on the female, it looks like it's worth five hundred dollars, right? Now, I'm gonna show you a difference between this person and this person. I mean, they're one person, they bought a male and the female. I'm sorry, so this guy, Cheryl and Chad. Bought a male and a female, they want to be breeders. They say, hey, man, you know what? I don't have a lot of money. I'm not going to really do it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy two cheap dogs, right? And I'm going to breed them. So they spent $1,500 on both their dogs. They spent $1,500. Then they think in their mind they're just going to breed some dogs and get puppies. And then they're going to have a bunch of little puppies. That's a little puppy. That's a little puppy. That's a little puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. So they got 10 little puppies, cute little puppies here running around. And in their mind, this breeder's mind, he's thinking, I spent $1,500. I'm going to sell each one of these with $1,500. And I'm going to make a lot of money. And then I'm going to use this dog to go buy one of Butler Kennel's dogs, right? So now this is their dog. So now they got all this. Sorry, I messed up. All these little puppies in their mind is going to equal money, right? So now... Chad and Cheryl bought a thousand dollars here, five hundred. They spent fifteen hundred dollars. So they got all these little puppies. They had, you know, their two little dogs had puppies, and now they're getting all of this here, right? So now they're thinking, "Cha ching, we made money." Now they want to get this crappy dog here, the money they got from this dog, and they want to go get a Butler Kennel Rottweiler dog, right? So now they think, like, "Hey, now we spent some real good money. We got some top notch." Let's breed that back into this bull crap over here. And we can get some more money to ching. And no, no, that's trash. Don't do that. And then they'll claim, oh, I got a Butler Kennel Rottweiler bloodline dog. This is a Butler Kennel bloodline. No, and then you sitting there thinking, huh, instead of me getting a dog and waiting a long time for Butler Kennel Rottweiler dog, I'll just go to him because he said he got a Butler Kennel's dog. And then you go buy a dog from him and then you call me mad like I always get every week. Hey, this guy said he had a dog from you and, you know, um, man, can I, uh, man, what I need to do to feed him to make him bigger? Nothing. Because your dog won't get any bigger. Your, your squirrel that you got, now you got a squirrel. It's got a butler kennel's tail and a, everything else wrong with that dog. I don't know. The perfect tail, whatever. But you cannot think by mixing my bloodline with somebody else's bloodline, they're going to have that. So this is what usually goes wrong. You see this person having a nice, beautiful, big old male over here and a little female. In your mind, you're hoping your puppy turns out like this. 
But in reality, it's going to have a mixture of both where your dog going to probably have a look like this. So it's not going to be like this, but it may not be like that, but it's going to be in the middle somewhere. And some of the puppies are going to take out the mom. Some are going to try to take out the dad, but got mama genetics in there and all that kind of stuff as well. So that's the first thing you want to just get rid of, right? So let's erase that, right? These are these so-called breeds that's coming in the game and just thinking they're going to just like have that, right? So... Again, this is not my prices. I'm just putting on here for this is just an example. All right. Um, I'm just using an example. I'm just going to use an example. Now, of course, listen, we all have to start somewhere. And I get it. Like, we all have to start somewhere. The difference between a Ford, because I don't like Ford. I'm sorry. If you like Ford, sorry. Keep to yourself. I care less. And Ferrari. Right? Ford and Ferrari. What is the difference between them besides the first letter started with an F? They both start with an F, but they're two totally different kind of cars. Yes, they both have two wheels and they both, I mean, both have four wheels. Um, and they both can get you a point A to B. Same thing with the dogs. Quality. Non-quality. Non-Q, I'm just going to be Q. So quality, Ferrari, non-quality, Ford, right? And I'm not, listen, don't be in my inbox talking about how, how good your Ford is and everything else, all right? Listen, I got you. Now, we're going to draw a line in the middle. Now, what I'm meaning by this is, I'm the Ferrari. I'm going to tell you why I'm Ferrari. But BKR, other breeders, OB. OB stands for other breeders. BKR, BKR, Butler is kind of a Ferrari. We got quality dogs out here, right? You're going to see a bunch of advertisements on Ford. If you look in the commercials, you see, if you turn your TV on, you see nothing but Ford commercials, Chevy commercials, a lot of these commercials out here, right? They got a lot of commercials. Why? Because they're trying to appeal to you about their dogs. They're pushing their dogs onto you. They make these beautiful placards where the dog looks all big and massive, and they use these little gimmicks, and they make the dog head bigger and the body smaller, or they try to cut the pace and you never can see the dogs live but you can always see a beautiful stance of the, you're like god i want to buy that dog man that dog looks beautiful but then you ask them, let me see a picture of the dog oh no i don't can't really do that right now i can't send a picture of my dog we can't go live we can't anyway we can't do that stuff right we can't really show you a video of the dog because they have one good picture of that dog or you guys ever seen a commercial and you see this car and it looks so beautiful like, wow then you see the exact same car in person you're like uh oh, it not really wasn't on i'm gonna be honest with you the Wagoneer, the Jeep Wagoneer, I was like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. I see the person, I'm like, yeah, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> mm, mm. I don't like him. You know what I mean? I like it, but it's not something that I would be like, I got to go out there and go get it. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with the cars. I'm always using cars and dogs as a reference. If you're just joining in, you guys hit this like button, smash the like button, everything else. We just being funny, having a good old time, but being truthful at the same time. We just giving a little class on quality and non-quality. So why am I Ferrari? And I'm a, and I can back it up. I'm going to tell you why I'm the Ferrari. You will never see a Ferrari commercial. Why? Because their brand sells itself. They're not trying to put the narrative. You won't ever see me posting out there like I got puppies for sale. I don't. I don't advertise dogs for sale. I don't. The quality of what I have sells itself. Like 17 years of doing this. We would be 18, you know, coming this month. You know what I'm saying? 18. And that's, and don't get it twisted. Like I'm not trying to, like, hell no. I mean, God, dude, sorry. Um, I am I'm going to be a little boastful today because I think we all should be a little proud of ourselves and not, you know, humbleness. You can be humble but still be proud of yourself and speak on it if it's facts. I'm very proud of myself that we can do 17 years that we've never had to sell dogs and advertise dogs like that or whatever. Our dogs have always sold out before they're born. So with my dog being something before they're born, I don't need to advertise. That's why you don't see me with these little calendars and all this kind of stuff and trying to advertise these dogs. I show you guys my dogs raw, uncut, the videos, the dogs, me laying with them, I'm born with them, I'm born with them. They're being born, I'm laying with them while they're born, I'm in the backyard with the dogs. I go live and you guys see it. My kids come in here, y'all, this is unedited. The difference between me and a lot of other breeders are, they just gotta have it for nests. You see these videos, they wouldn't dare go live. They wouldn't dare do what I do with their dogs. Or if they do go live, their dogs are in a perfect position and they can't go around other dogs or they can't interact normally or in the crowd. You see, I'm in the stores with my dogs. My dogs are well-behaved. My dogs are in there. I get it. 
But I'm not trying to down any any anybody else that's doing that. Like I'm not. Honestly, I'm not. I care less what they do. But I'm just showing you what to look out for in the difference in the cost and what's going to cost you. We're going to get back to all that there. So your Ford is not going to have as great of a warranty as this Ferrari is going to have. Now Ford makes some nice cars, right? There are some, there are some nice Fords. You got the um. <laughs> What's a good Ford? I don't I don't really do Ford. Um the Mustangs, the Shelby. Beautiful cars. I like Shelby. They're nice. You know what I mean? Shelby. You got the Shelby, right? So that's the one out of the all the makes and models they make that are like um but it's like they make a lot of other cars out there, but they're not going to all their cars aren't this. Like in Chevy, I'm a Chevy guy, so their epitome car is the Corvette. Like that's their high car. The Ford is the GT Ford. You know, they got some nice Ford, Ford GT. Is nice. But they have so, not so much of like all their cars aren't like, bam. They have different levels of it. But it's a lot of mixture in there. So sometimes you're going to pull some good ones, some bad ones. So once the F-350 Ranch, King's Ranch, those are nice. I like the leather in there. But over time, that Ford is not going to hold its value as much as a Ferrari is going to hold or a Bentley or a Lamborghini or whatever. You see what I'm saying? So even though that's their best cars, their best cars still isn't going to mount to a Ferrari. It's just not. Same thing with my dogs. Their best dogs. That's why, listen, when you see a breeder always showing their mail, it's easier to always show the mail because it always gets bigger and people's eyes get bigger, quicker and everything else. They stand out the fastest. So they hook you with the male. Let them start showing you the female. And don't go because of their name. Like, take their name. Like, my, me, myself, and I. Take my name away from when you look at my dogs. Don't look at it. Oh, that's a butler kennel dog. I want to support him. No. Look at the dog for what the dog gives itself. And, and, and look at the dog. Do the same thing that I'm asking you to do with me with their dogs. And I don't care who it is. I don't care if they're white, black, German, Russian, Indian, green, orange. I don't care. Look at that person's dog for who they are. Don't go by their value and name. Because a lot of them, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of these breeders that y'all think are like top notch overseas, they would be in jail over here in the States. Their dogs live in a big old compound of just dogs in a, in a room. Some of the people, dogs live in a room no bigger than my office. But their names on Google and stuff are on the line or whatever. People think, oh, he's at a show though. He want to show our... They do so many shows over there and like i'm gonna be honest with you and this is like this is one of the reasons why i don't really show like champions like listen i'm gonna, you know what here we go i'm gonna show you we're gonna flex a little bit but in flexing and showing you knowledge right i'm just gonna pick a dog right matter of fact watch this i'm just gonna pick a dog right whatever we open all right boom boom so let's go here right you see this here ch what am i at CH says champion, right? So when you got a CH beside your name, it's gonna say champion. Let me cover all this up. When you look, you're gonna see champion, 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 champion. Tell me who's saying that. Now, you would normally see a breeder with that kind of dog paperwork like this would be screaming at y'all. Oh my God, I got the champion bloodline. Come buy a dog for me. I got champion. Look at this dog. This dog is a champion. And they use that and then narrow you in like, hey man, I got a dog that's a champion bloodline and they sell it to you. And they mix that dog like that with a piece of trash. And it's still a, technically a champion bloodline because they bred a champion that dog has champion bloodlines in it. And then bam then just because that dog has champion in it don't mean that dog's gonna be a top quality dog this means that that dog's the dog that bred the parents as a champion don't mean that he's gonna produce champions right so um so that's the difference between like the person that has the ford and the ferrari the ferrari is gonna be us ford's gonna be them and like i said these other breeders are gonna have some nice cars in their some nice dogs in their kennels but show the consistency. That's the biggest thing today is going to be about consistency. They can't have consistency. Why? Because when they started off with their kennels and they got some dogs that was some iffy, some in, and a lot of them don't even know about DNA, what DNA is and genetics and stuff. Let me show you what that is. 
I'm gonna educate you guys today, right? What's it gonna cost? I'm gonna tell you what's gonna cost you. What you need to have. Oh, these are some OFAs that people say we don't do. You know, some OFAs, paperwork. What OFA is, we'll talk about that later as well, too. Um, getting your dogs health and all that kind of stuff is all good. Hips, elbows, knees. Hips, elbows, knees, and eyes. Hip. Oh. I got a bunch of this stuff, man. It is. Oh, it's in my other folder. Because that's um, genetics. I got a whole genetic folder, sorry. I'm not going to get it right now, but I'll show you. So, there's like a bunch of letters. The A, B, C, D, Z, A, Z, A, B, or whatever. If you ever got genetics on your dogs, it's going to definitely show you what that is, all right? Um, um, so, what am I getting at? What I'm getting at is, don't be fooled by someone just showing you one dog. In that one dog, they didn't invest from the ground from the very, very bottom. Ferrari takes a little bit longer to build than Ford. Ford is done at a factory, which means it pumps it out, it pumps it out, it pumps it out, pumps it out. You guys know there's a waiting list to me, right? There is a waiting list. I'm not going to like, like, it's just obvious. We all know it. I know it. Um, I do that to tell you guys because someone said, oh, he's just lying to get people to buy dogs. How dumb you got to be? For me to tell you, hey, that's like a store saying, hey, man, we want people to come in, but telling the clients, telling the customers, hey, man, we sold out of donuts. I'm a donut shop. I'm sold out of donuts. Yeah, that's going to bring them in. No, that's going to make people leave, fool. You know what I mean? Like, you got to be smarter than that. So what I'm doing tonight is letting you guys know the gimmicks that some people do and what they try to do. Some people try to do like, hey, man, this pen is only worth, let's say what this pen is worth, right? I'm going to... Let's just be honest. We're going we gonna to be honest on Fridays. Friday, freaky, 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 honest Fridays, whatever you want to call it. This pen right here is probably worth about a dollar, right? But it's 258 of you guys right now in this session right now. If I tell everybody, everybody can win this pen right now. It's only worth a dollar. Give me 25 cents. Who's going to win? Yeah, that one person is going to win this pen for 25 cents. They save 75 cents. But I'm going to make so much more off of this because I'm just trying to get it in. Now, nothing's wrong with that. I think if it's a valuable dog, like if I were to do it, I can I can understand it. But I'm just letting you know what the gimmick is, right? I can try to sell this pen and, I can get the, and I'm going to get a lot more than what it's worth. But the one person who, it's like playing the lottery. One person's going to win the big lotto. Everybody's going to have a chance to win it. But the odds are very low. You see what I'm saying? And they're going to try to do that. Me, personally, I'm not about trying to gimmick on you guys, man. I'm not trying to, like, get over you. I'm not even trying to take your money. Like, if you see, like, if people, there's so many of you people on here right now that's on my list, right? So I can't lie. I got to be honest, right? You, Kyle's on my list. All you guys on my list and everything else. Sky's on my list. Jill, all you guys on my list. Please be very honest. There's no whatever. I don't force people to get a dog. Like, I'm going to explain to you. Some people I've told, hey, wait, wait, dog, bro. Go back and think about it before you call me, man. You know, take your time before you call me. Make sure this is what you want to do or whatever. Because with me, there are non-refundable deposits. So you make your list, that's it's, it's final. Like, you're on it. Now, I would never take away your deposits. But you always be on the list. If you need to, take time or whatever you got, I got you. But that's a contract. Like, that's what we sign contracts for. Like, locked in, I got you. You, you got me. You can't lose your deposit in the list or whatever. So, but some breeders will try to tell you, oh, you don't get a dog by a certain time. You lost your deposit. You're good. You can't afford it. Now you're gone. That's not me. Never will I ever do that. But when we get to the fact is that I will never tell someone or force someone to get a dog or, or try to force someone to it. I'm just telling people to take your time and get the right dog. My job is, yes, it's going to be a wait time. You're going to get mad at me probably. You're going to be upset. But when you sit on that couch, you're going to be like, ah, oh, this is what you're going to do. Hold on a second. I'm going to show you. We're going we're gonna to do live facts. What I'm going to do is, this is the litter from Tessa. If you're on my Tessa list, you already know you're getting a dog. This is your puppy. These are females. These are females. The reason they get the males, yes, they get big. Males are big. This is a two females. Right? Oh, my God. He's so big. Oh, my God. Let me stop. I'm going to drop my dog. Y'all be like, oh, dog. Bola Kittle's got Ferrari, but it's a dented Ferrari. He got a dented Ferrari. He dropped the car. No, okay, look. If y'all keep still, man, 
God, dog, look at the video. Look, look, show them, show them what y'all about. Four weeks old. Oh my God. No, I lied. I lied. I just freaking lied. I freaking lied. No, I'm not lying. Five weeks old. Bam, five weeks. Five freaking weeks. This is what you got right here. Five weeks. Trying to say my breast smell or something, bro? Hey, bro, you trying to say, bro? Anyway, don't mind me. Uh, I'll put that down. So, the reason why I'm showing you are females. You know why? Because they ain't going to show you their female. Or oh, they might show you one female, the biggest one in the litter or whatever. That's the two females in that litter. That's both the females. I showed up one by one. This is yellow collar. Get a full look at it. Get a good look. Ain't nothing no special. You ain't got to try to push up on the neck and do all this hair and put it real close in the camera. We're not. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to do that. You know I didn't. You know I didn't mean to. I know. I'm just got to. I got to show them, though. I got to tell them what, what they be doing to get them to get them sales in. And then they think they got that top quality when they didn't go to Butler Kennels. Then they do like this here. See different that dog? Look at that dog look. But their dog is so small. Boom! They do all this here and be like, oh, God. Now, who's going to walk around with their dogs looking like this all day? What are you going to do? Hey, man, see my dog? Hold up. No, you're not going to do that, man. Look at my dog for quality itself. Look, look, look at that. My good... Bro, why you... Bro, why you... Gotta... What, what, boy? What you got... Mm. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Love you, love you, love you, love you. And yes, my dogs are already sold out. Don't even ask that question about them. They're already sold. And the reason, yes, I know. I, I know it sounds repetitive over and over again. Like, oh my God, if your dogs are always sold out, how do you sell dogs? Well, because I got a waiting list. You got you to gotta pay to get on that waiting list. You got to give me one of these to get on my waiting list, bro. I don't play no games, son. Big bills over here, baby. We do big bills over here, baby. You know what I'm saying? Look. Remember you go, look, come to my kennel, baby, slap me one of them dollar bills, baby, you might you know, get a little extra little dog food or something, you know, I got y'all, you know what I'm saying? Let me show you how we floss over here, baby, you know, call me Mr. Dollar, baby, Mr. Dollar. Uh, but actually, no, I'm going I'm to change it when I get 100,000 subscribers to Mr. 100,000 subscribers, baby, $100 bill. Boy, you know how to do when I was, anyway, let me drag it off track, this is my one track mine. Um, so the dog itself is the best dog you're going to have, right? I'm not saying only my kennel. I'm not knocking anybody else's kennel. I promise you, I'm not trying to down anybody else. If you think I'm talking about somebody else, get it out your mind. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to down. I, I love to uplift people. I love to uplift other kennels, but in order to uplift people, we got to be honest. We can't do all that talking like, yeah, but this guy been breeding for like me and Scott was having a conversation today and I talk about the conversation I had, right? So I was telling Sky, I was like, well, listen, the way I came up in this game was different. Like, I didn't have anybody I could look up to. I didn't have anybody holding my hand. I didn't have anybody I could really like, hey, man, help me up um, and all this kind of stuff. I didn't have that. I didn't have anybody that said, hey, man, let me mentor you and show you the right way. I didn't have that. I had to come up by myself. I came up through the racism. I came up with being called every single thing under the book. I got slapped in my, well, I ain't got slapped in my face. I mean, metaphorically, metaphorically, metaphorically. Yeah, because if I slap me, you're going to get slapped back and get whatever. Anyway, we bought peace over here, right? What's up? Um, I'm all over the place. But what I'm saying is that I didn't have anybody I had to look up to or somebody I had to really go and like, hey, show me the ropes. I had to learn from mistakes. I made these mistakes. I bought the dog that was cheaper. Like, I'm I'm not ashamed to tell you guys. I showed you guys my first dogs. Like, I, I had to learn. Like, nothing wrong with learning. But be able to admit it. These breeders out there will never tell you what they actually did wrong. They'll be like, oh, no, I always had the 100% dog and all. No, they didn't. Man, I started with a dog that had a long nose longer than the god dog on. Man, my first Rottweiler nose was about this long hair. I ain't got no problem telling y'all. But I love that dog. I thought that dog was the best dog in the world. You know what I mean? But I had to understand the kind of dogs that was quality. And I also did what was in my budget at the time. I was a kid and all that kind of stuff as well, too. But um, I was proud of it. But as we grow older now, 
You don't got to make those same mistakes. You don't have to start off with the $500 dogs and then get those dogs and then try to breed those dogs to get better dogs. And by the time you do it, you're already pushing out those bad dogs already. Then most likely, a person that does that is going to breed the good quality dog into the bad dog and they're going to have more bad dogs. You know what I mean? And that's just not what you really want. You want to be able to breed quality dogs into quality stuff and have quality. So now you, you take a step back. Take a look at this breeder. Show what this this breeder should be able to show you history of what he's produced. Don't go by that. Oh, you know he's telling you all this stuff. If he can't show you or she can't show you what she got consistently, don't show me one dog. Don't show me the dog in your yard. Cause just because a dog is massive, don't mean that dog's gonna produce massive. I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you why some of you guys get these dogs from these people that got big dogs and your dog is small. And you wonder why. Cheryl. Cheryl bought a dog for cheap, 500 bucks, right? Cheryl's, the male, Cheryl, the, Cheryl has a puppy. This is Cheryl's puppy right here, right? The puppy's dad, the puppy's mom, right? That dog, the dog's dad has a dad. Well, I'm gonna pick granddad, it'd be easy for you guys. Granddad, grand. Ma, this dog over here is gonna have a. The mom's gotta have a grand. The dog's dad, grandma, right? So if you look at this, this is Cheryl's puppy named Roxy. Like everybody, God, I hate that name. God, I hate that name so much. Like I seriously, if you come to me and you want your dog to be Roxy, I'm not naming it Roxy. I'm just not. Okay, I might do it for you, but I just don't like Roxy. Okay, you can do what you want to do with your dog. I just hate Roxy. I think we gotta be more. It's 2023. Let's be more open yeah so let's say roxy gets a dog because roxy I mean roxy cheryl likes the way chad's dog dad look right so she bought a dog and the dad was really he got really good g i'm gonna give him a, i'm gonna give him a check mark it's good the mom dog was and eh, checking the x not it's not so good right it's a little halfway so but the dad is grandma's ex, ex, like a little check ex, right? So these are like basically like trash dogs. When I say trash dogs, I mean just the quality of the value of the dog or whatever. So this dog here has a half of a check, but Roxy took after this half a check, right? So Roxy looks really good. Like Roxy looks really good, like real good looking dog. So you're thinking like, yeah. So this is a breeder. So Cheryl breeds this dog to another dog. The reason why your puppy looks bad even though this dog has the qualities that looks good, this dog still carries all of these bad genes here and here. So all these bad genes is still inside her, but she's just showing this good genes right here. That's why you gotta look at your dogs and see what the dogs have been producing consistently over. And that's why you can't just go buy a dog with a puppy on it, right? So that's why I can show you guys puppies are my dogs when they look from stage. That's why I keep dogs in my kennels. And if you notice, I keep the last pick for a reason. I'm gonna get with that right now, right? Let's go to the next step. Picking out your dog for your quality dog that you're gonna get. Breeders, mostly breeders, I'm gonna say maybe 90% of breeders are gonna tell you, yes, you get the first pick, you get all these dogs or whatever. You go get that dog, he has five males, five females right five males five females right five males five females your time to get a female he tell you yeah you get a female but he sees that one female he really likes that is really standing out right you got one two three four five i'm just putting in order like the quality of the dogs right he says man number one is a real beast he keeps that one for himself then he lets you pick from there so then he keeps the one top dog and you're coming there, or he got a friend or somebody get this dog or that dog, and now you're really picking here, and he makes up excuse the puppy passed away or whatever. I don't know what I've heard so many stories, man. It's crazy. So you get this dog here, but the number one dog that breeder keeps for himself to pick back into his kennel. But he's claiming that he got the top dogs. What I'm telling you is what I'm gonna do is say, hey, listen, 
I got five males, five females, even if I'm keeping a puppy, because I have to keep puppies back in my litter because you guys are buying the dogs and I gotta have more qualities. And I can't use one female just to breed it all now. And I'm not doing that. I don't care. Get mad at me or not, but I'm not gonna over overbreed a female just to make y'all guys happy and wear my females out. That's why my females are so happy and so love. They're like, yo, daddy, thank you. You know what I'm saying? But they're 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 animals, they breed, but I don't overbreed my dogs. So with that being done, I gotta keep a female. Because I said I'm the best of the best that means not the best of i don't say i'm the best the best of best oh best of the oh best of some i don't pick boss you know what i mean some people may name me kennel boss or whatever i'm not i'm not saying boss like best of some my puppies i let you pick this one this one this one this one and i'm gonna keep the very last puppy you know why because i know every last one of my dogs is gonna be top quality that's what i feel like you know what i mean and I let you see it. Like I'll be like, go pick your dog. Pick it. I everybody knows you pick your dog from me, you get to pick your dog. My job as a breeder is to inform you about what each one of these dogs are for the purpose of these dogs. Because this dog may be yeah. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Right? Puppy number one. And this is what me and um, Sky went over today as well. She was like, hey, you know, about the dogs, and like, um, how you know about the dogs, which one to pick, and all that kind of stuff there. And like, the puppy to pick me. And I'm like, no, we don't do that. So this is the problem with, I'm going to show you with people letting the dogs pick them and you picking the right dog. So let's say puppy number one is aggressive. Right? Don't rub my hand scratching. I know what it says. I got it. Don't worry about how it's spelled. It's spelled right, but I'm just saying, bump y'all. You know, bump y'all. I'm talking my hand right here. I know somebody in there like, Pfft. You write like a doctor. I don't get paid like one, but I write like one. Puppy number one is aggressive, right? Puppy number two is sleepy. All he want to do is sleep all day. Puppy number three is laid back, right? Puppy number four is, is very alert. What I mean by alert is it's alert, but it's not like active and crazily active or whatever. This one is more protective, right? wants to wants to play and wants to work protective work play all right so you got all these different dogs right here one two three four five right just say be five and i'm using an example of how to get the right dog somebody will come here and say let's say jill comes in my house and jill says i'm gonna pick somebody out i'm using people names in here jermaine jeff Coat. so jermaine says hey tony you know what man you know what i'm saying i want a dog and this is what i want and i'm gonna tell you the truth is don't be fooled, because I see a lot of breeders now trying to use the stuff that I use and be like, yeah, tell me what you want and I'll breed the dog for you. Shut up. You only got two dogs. You only can breed one purpose of those dogs, so stop lying. If that breeder don't have at least 10 dogs, he can't give you, he can't, he cannot breed for everybody's ways or what everybody wants, because two dogs can't produce for everybody. But we'll get to that later. So, Jermaine says, hey man, I want a dog. This is what I want. I want a dog that's going to be, you know, I got grandkids and uh, all I want to do is just really sit back and let my kids, let my grandkids play with the dogs, man. Which, which, y'all tell me right now, which puppy do you think is going to fit best for Jermaine? The aggressive, the sleepy, the laid back, the alert, or the protective work and play dog? Which one do you say? Five, one, two, three, I'll let y'all go. Y'all tell me right now, class. I'll give y'all 20 seconds to 10 seconds to give me an answer, which one y'all think? Bill says five the protective work and play um everybody saying five 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 three one says three five this guy says two okay so guess what you did wrong now it's messaging I would be able to tell you now, listen, my job is to tell you, I, as a breeder, would go with more of the laid back one, right? Number three, not five. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to explain to you why. Not saying that five, depending on the dog, because I'm just saying some of the characteristics of what they have. Protective work and play. He has grandkids. He wants the dog. He doesn't, my, my I said, and the reason why I said this, and I'm gonna, it's going to hopefully make sense to you guys. I said he's a grandparent. 
He's not out and about, active, and all that kind of stuff. So he's more laid back. You want more of a laid back dog. So he's not out there going out with the dog and going up and down and traveling that much or whatever. So that way. Five, I said, is protective and work. What I mean by work and this stuff, these are naturally instincts of these dogs. These dogs are showing natural instinct of protection and all that kind of stuff. Most grandparents are not taking their dogs to training and all that kind of stuff there. They want a dog that's going to fall in line with the family needs. Not saying that the dog Sleepy could be a good fit too as well. He might be sleepy a lot, but he gets up a little bit, a little, a little droopy. But, you know, he get a little protection into the puppies and, you know, have a little good time. But off the bat, naturally fitting is going to be three. Because five has more protection, has a lot of work. When a dog has protection, don't get protective with being mistaken for being anger, mean. Protection means the dog has a lot of workability. When a dog has a workability, it means it needs to be active and get that out the way. You ever seen a kid that's too smart for the class, ain't got nothing to do? They start dribbling on the board, chewing the gun, striking the nails. Because they got to do something. Like It's got to be active. You got to work that out. A kid that's more laid back naturally can sit in a chair all day and just sit there because he's, a, he's okay with that environment because that's his environment. My job as a breeder and a real breeder is to break down the puppies for you and not just tell you, yeah, go pick a dog. Now, the other problem was, let's say Sky says, hey, you know what, Tony? I want the dog to pick me. I want the dog to just come to me and be like, ooh, whichever one loves on me, I want that, whatever. So Sky comes there. So let's say... Sky says, hey, Tony, I want a dog that's going to be very, very, I need a, uh, I need a protection dog. I'm in a bad neighborhood. You know, I'm getting shot at every day because, you know, Sky be on that stuff. Sky be like, pow, 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 out the window. Sky be driving by. And pow, 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 pow. And pow, pow, pow. Brah, pow, pow. Okay, I'm done. Right, it's a little too much. But anyway, Sky's like, hey, I need a, I need a dog that's going to be able to work ability. That's going to really get down to it. People keep bringing to my house all the time or whatever cases. Which one are y'all going to go with? Give y'all 10 seconds to answer the question. 30 shots. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> First time I try to ban myself. Um, which one are you going to go with for Sky? You're going to go with aggressive. You're going to go with sleepy. You're going to go with laid back. You're going to go with alert. Or protecting work and play. <laughs> Jill says Sky, that girl. So one says one. I see a lot of ones. I see fives. I see fours. I see. So Sky, you in the trenches in Chicago. Hey, yeah, yeah, look. I see. Hey, look. Just gotta be on it, but I'm telling y'all. <laughs> anyway, so someone says one, I would say no. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna explain to you why later on. One is a no. Sleepy is a no go. Laid back is a no go. Alert is a check mark. And a dog that's protective, work and play. You gotta work, dog. That's why I just explained to you guys. Protection work. That dog shows a lot of protection work. Two, a dog that's alert is what you want as well too depending on how much you would kind of area you in what you're looking for dogs on alert doesn't mean aggressive sometimes you just want a dog to say hey i'm not looking for a dog that's going to bite somebody i need a dog to let me know somebody's here somebody rings a doorbell somebody's walking in the neighborhood somebody walking in your backyard you don't want your dog to see somebody in the backyard and like hey what's up man back door over here bro you got a snack all right cool that's it no you want a dog that's going to be like hey listen Oh, 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 somebody's there. That's why you don't hear my dogs barking all the time. Like when I go out there, my dogs don't bark. Like just barking for no reason. Y'all saw the video where I was feeding the dogs and someone came in the door and you heard them. They're going to let me know. Hey, bro. Hey, he ain't supposed to be here, bro. He ain't supposed to be here. And they're going to do that. You know what I mean? And that's what normally happens. Um, So you're going to want four and five are going to match better than these ones here. Now, Depending on the dog for R5. So you kind of get a little mixture because Sky may be like, hey man, you know, I ain't that big, so I want a dog. The protection dog may be showing a little bit too much protection right now. But remember, just because a dog shows it in eight weeks, it's just showing you the capabilities. Not what that dog actually is, the capabilities. You can work that into your dog. So don't think, oh, my dog is sleepy. It's just easier to get a dog that naturally wants to protect. To protect over a sleepy dog that's not there. Now, I'm going to go back to where I just messed my whole board up. But I'm going to go back to what me and Sky talked about earlier. Why you don't want a dog to pick you? And this is what some people got to mix up. I was telling them I'm not. You don't let you pick your dog. You can pick your dog. But I don't let you pick your dog based on the dog coming to you. 
Sky says, hey, I want a dog that's going to be really protective. I'm in Chicago. I'm letting off dirty shots. Bop, bop, bop. And her and Jill doing drive-bys and all that kind of stuff. And Jermaine in the driver. Jermaine's the driver. Jill, Sky in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? You got you got Kyle, Kyle up there in the trunk, sniping, all that. There's some gangsters, y'all. Listen, y'all know there's some gangsters. So you got that. So now Sky says, hey, I need that protection dog. But Sky gets down there. And Sky comes to my house and says, hey, Tony, this is the dog that's coming. The dog that she needs will be aggressive. These three here, one, two, four, and five, right? So, but let's say all these dogs been playing around all day. Sky comes to my house at four o'clock that afternoon. These dogs been showing signs all day. So the, guys, the dogs got to sleep because the dogs are showing a lot of energy. These dogs sleeping. Sleepy, been sleepy all day. Now four o'clock comes, Sleepy takes a nice little yawn. And Sleepy comes up like, yo, what's going on? And see Sky and runs the sky. Sky's like, oh my God, a butler kennel dog. What? Hold up. I got I to gotta show y'all what uh, Sky really does. Come here. Don't run from me. Don't you run from me. I, I got to I gotta, uh, show y'all what, what Sky going to do. So Sky be like, Oh my God, this butler kennel dog is mine. Wow, I waited so long for you. What would I have done without you? Oh my God. That's what Sky saw on y'all. Sky be like, oh my God, that dog. <gasps> oh. and, that, and that dog will give Sky the same look like that. Like, girl, you don't stop. Me mugging. Boo. So anyway, I'm sorry. All right, All right. so. That dog's gonna come to Sky, the sleepy dog, when it's tired, sleepy all day, comes to Sky. Sky gets the dog back. Tony, this is it. Takes the dog home. Burglar comes to the house. The dog rolls over and then falls asleep. Then Sky's like, why does dog don't wanna work? Now I gotta pay more money, which we go back to the beginning. How much is it gonna cost? Now Sky gotta go find a trainer that's gonna have to break this sleepy habit that she probably allowed this dog to sleep for the first three years of his life or her life that didn't do right. And now Sleepy gotta force itself to do what he's not one really was bred to do or whatever. You see what I'm saying? That's a big difference in the dog and doing things on that. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Did that did that did that confuse some people? Let me know. Cause I've not been talking, but I don't know. I don't want to confuse you guys. I want to go through steps with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, what time is it, man? I've been this for an hour. I don't know what time it is. It's nine twelve. All right. So, should we do a part two on Wednesday? Should we do a part two? Um, I don't know. But, listen, I know it's 270 of you guys watching right now, and I would love to keep talking with you guys, and I would love it very much. But um, you can say, yep, I got it, I got it, yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, Brittany and me, what's going on, Pippin? What's going on? Sorry, I don't mean to say that word. You know, kids be like, Daddy, what's that word mean? He said it was Pippin. I am learning so much. Shandy, that's what... Hey, Shandy, we're going to get our song right, too. And all you guys that haven't done so yet, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Don't be having me giving y'all these, 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 you know, them gems for y'all guys. Y'all ain't even want to hit your boy up for some little likes and subscribe. You know what I mean? You got to subscribe to get some more content in there. You know what I mean? Um, I promised my family I would have been back by now. Um, y'all saw it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give y'all a story right quick. Y'all guys know I got to give y'all my, my tree story. It's the tree's tree story. All right. I'm calling tomorrow to match a dog with me. I got you. So what I do is, I'm going to tell you. So this is the way I operate. I'm going to tell you right now. Let me, let me just help y'all out. So don't call me just saying, hey, Tony, man, this is I hate this. This is what I hate. I hate when people call me. First of all, this is what I hate. Butler Kennel Rottweilers. Yeah, is this Butler Kennels? I just said Butler Kennels Rottweilers. Um, as well. Um, then he like, yeah, man. Um, I had a dog, man, and the dog. Like, whoa, whoa, bro. Slow down. Slow down. Slow, slow it. Slow it. Slow it down. Give me a second to speak first. Introduce yourself. I, I'm telling you, the conversation goes a lot smoother when you like. Hey, this is how you should want to talk to your breeder or anybody. You call. Brr, boom. I'ma answer. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? This Butler Kennel Rock. I'm, I'm lying. I'ma be like, yo, Butler Kennel Rock Wallace. You gonna. You should respond with, hello, my name is such and such. My name is Sky or Jill 
or Kyle, whatever y'all names are. Yo, my name is so and so, and um, I saw your page. Or I'm thinking about getting a dog or whatever. Um, just want to know what your prices are, or whatever. You know, whatever questions you may have. That's what you do it. But if you come in, hey, yeah, man. Yeah, first of all, I'm going to tell you, y'all going to stop trying to diss my little stuff and be like, yo, I see your little page, man. I'll be like, oh, for real, my little page? My little page? The little one that made you call is so little? Okay, cool. I see y'all. I see y'all. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's all good. So um, reality is you call someone, introduce yourself, let the person talk, and then, listen, if the dogs are too much or the dogs ain't for you, you don't gotta say, let me talk to my wife, okay? Y'all gotta stop using that line. Like, that's, that's the most play. Yeah, I'm gonna see my wife gonna do. <laughs> and y'all be laughing at y'all self. I be sitting there like, mm. okay. Talk to your spouse. Figure out what y'all can afford before you call me. If you got a girlfriend that got your money and, and the boyfriend got your money, talk with them first. Say, hey, babe. Hey, 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 hey honeydew. Or hey, boo boo. Or whatever. What can I afford to spend on the dog right now? He's going to tell you or she's going to tell you, hey, look, you're not good with spending money and saving money. You can only spend $200. You're going to say $200 is my budget. You're going to look at my dogs. You're going to look at your $200. Look at my dogs. Look at my dogs. Look at my dogs. And you're going to be like, hey, you know what? I'm not going to be calling and waste my time because I can't afford it. Then when you do call me, you have a budget in mind. I'll give you a price. Listen, it's okay to say, hey, man, that's just not the price for me. I got it. Cool. I got you. But you ain't got to say my wife. I got to talk to my wife about it. Like, and then, especially when you tell the person, oh, man. Um, and then you still want to ask questions, try to pretend like you want to, like you want a dog. Like, that's not the way you do it. But anyway, uh, you call me. You ask me the price of a dog. I'm going to give you my price, give you the list or whatever, and you go from there. Do you give puppy kits when your new parents come to pick it up? If you mean you have another, if you want a product. What would be, what would be in your puppy kit? What what all would be in your puppy kit? What what would you like to see in the like what would you guys like to see in the puppy kit? And I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys in a second what I do give and what I don't give for a reason. Um Gordon Sauce Pit, shut up. Why would you ask me that question for? That's don't ask me that question. Meal plan. I'm not doing it today, Scott. I'll be a whole nother video. If two hundred dollars is all you got, then it's it's time to adopt. <laughs> two hundred dollars is all you got. It's time to adopt. And I don't know if you got two hundred dollars, you may not want to adopt either because dog food costs money and everything else costs money too. Now, honestly, understand this. I know we we are in a time where everybody doesn't have money just to be thrown away or just money on the dog. That's why we offer a payment plan for you guys. That if you want a dog from me, I offer a payment plan. My payment plan is as low as $100 a month. You can make payments as low as $100 a month. If you cannot afford $100 a month, do not call me about a dog. Like, listen, please, honest to God, do not call me at all. Another thing, and I mean this with the bottom of my heart, with every fiber in my body, stop having your freaking kids call me. Up. It's not cute. It's not cute. I don't want to talk to your kid. I don't talk to little kids. This, this world is too crazy because I'm not putting my kid on the phone with a grown man. I don't know who it is. And I think y'all should do the same. Let's create good habits. There's a lot of weirdos in this world that would love to talk to y'all kids and do some crazy stuff. I don't talk to kids. The reason why I don't talk to kids, there are too many crazy stuff that happens in this world. Oh, he said this. No, I did not because I don't talk to little kids. If you're an adult and you're standing right there, like, talk to me first. And like, hey, man, my son want to give you a shout out. Say, he'll talk to you right quick. Okay, cool. You talk to that. You in the phone. But your little son or your daughter called me. I had three calls a day already. These little kids calling me. Hey, how much your dog is? Bro, why am I talking to you about a dog? Your little piggy bank, or if you do have a piggy piggy bank, you should talk to your parents anyway. You can't. No, I'm just not doing that, y'all. So, like, listen, it's not cute to me. I don't want to talk to y'all little kids. Now, I think it's cute if you're on the phone and you say your son likes to watch my show and I talk to him. Like, hey, what's up, buddy? That'll be awesome. I like that. But just talking to your kid out of the blue? No, ma'am. I'm not doing that. Um, Tony, much love when you... Too much love. Much love to you when you come into South Carolina. Uh, South Carolina is the hometown, so um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me see some of your guys' questions. I know normally we do some answerings right quick. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer some questions, and then we're going to do the tree story, and then we gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to ball out. You know what I mean? So I'm saying, because y'all know I got to go spend this money, baby. My whole dollar. Oh, let me stop playing with y'all. Y'all <laughs> thought I was broke, right? What y'all got on your boy, son? 
you know, then you gotta really fold it over, make it seem like more. Mm. 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 Oh. Mm. Anyway, let me stop playing. All right, let me ask some of y'all questions right quick. Let me get down to it. So I'm gonna answer y'all questions. I'm gonna do my tree story, and then I'm gonna head off, and I'm gonna go, and I gotta cook some food, or whatever, for myself. For me, cook some food for myself, right? Um. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> so, uh, you asked what would be in the puppy kit sky, making suggestions. Um, let me see, doctor shot information. Yes, those comes with it. Uh, sauce period was the average call. You spoke the truth. Uh, I'm all for layaway. Uh, you can do that. How range. Listen, I know a lot of you guys just came in afterwards. I said in the beginning, do not ask me how much my dogs are, the price of my dogs. If I have never answered that question, I could make a post right now and tell you guys my prices are blam, bam, bam, and get out the way. The reason I don't do it is for a reason. I'm not posting prices on my timeline and prices change and things happen and all this kind of stuff is not even right. So if you want a price of my dogs, you would have to call me. It lets me know you're serious. Just text me right now on my live saying, hey, how much of the dog is? And then someone sees someone else says it and they said the exact same thing that somebody else said that saw me didn't even answer it. Why would you keep answering the same question? You know, that's like, you know, they asked me like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say something crazy just now, but um, I discovered that dogs are, are like kids. They cost. Absolutely. Um, parenting skills, please. Shandy Cheek, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Shandy Creek for the longest. Me and, me, me and Shandy Cheek going gonna, gonna to do a song to y'all boys, man. I'm going to give y'all a little sample right quick. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'll do it in the end. I got y'all. Y'all stay tuned for the song. I'm going to give you a little, just a little sample before I do my, my after I do my, my, how I met Trees. You know what I'm saying? I got y'all. Um, <laughs> uh, Tree said, not tonight. What you mean, not tonight? Why? You don't want your story? So, look, I'm going to tell a story, guy, dog. I might sleep overhead tonight, but I'm going to tell a story. You tell me. I'm going to tell a story. I'm going to tell hers. If y'all want to hear the story about me and Tree, say yes. Just just type yes. If y'all want to hear a story, the most part, if you don't want to hear a story, I, I won't do it if y'all say no. But if y'all want to hear a story, say yes. Um, how do you first start out as a breeder? Oh man, you asked that question. You ain't watched any of my videos, man. You gotta look. A lot of these questions are in my videos too, as well. Like you guys take a little bit of time and just watch some of my videos, man. Like I be, I look like that. Um, what have, uh, Memphis Bleak right now? Like on Memphis Bleak. Yeah, Memphis Bleak. Let me stop. Um, you know how you spend? I don't spend no story. Tree said, "Go to McDonald's. She could." <laughs> I already want to rock. Listen, y'all. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. Y'all, y'all can't be telling rocks. It's R O T T. That's Rockweiler. Rock is not a Rockweiler. It's R O T. I'm not embarrassing anybody. I promise. To be honest, I see that a lot. Um, it's a, it's a common mistake everybody makes. So, um, yes, 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 yes. Everybody saying yes to the story. I'm gonna tell a story. You know, you know, I'm gonna tell a story, y'all. Y'all know I'm gonna tell that story. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell that story for you guys right quick. I got y'all right quick. Uh, uh, and the puppy litter, is there always that one special puppy or they all value the same? It just depends on the litter. Not always. Some dogs, some dogs, they're all the value to everybody's at the top. What up, girl? Come here. Hey, don't you stop. Come here. Come here. Stop. Don't get it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Catch yourself. Hog tie. Hog tie. Oh, what are you doing that for, man? Why are you like somebody trying to hurt you, bro? Come here, bro. Okay, I'm sorry. This one was sleeping on his back and I grabbed it. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all see that? Look at that, man. I just, like, man, I, oh, my God. I can't tell you guys. When you produce the best dogs in the world, man, you, you be like, bro, look whatever um we will we will not inbox the price call the man he has a payment plan and he will discuss prices with you over the phone depending on your budget um 
Well, I just don't do it on the timeline. If you want to inbox me, I can give you prices or whatever, but during my business hours. Um, do the song, man. I will give me some selections of what song y'all want to hear me sing. Ah, I get, only thing I don't do is metal. I can do some country. I can do some some R and B. Oh no. 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 That's not. Gonna, anyway, don't worry about it. Uh, deposit ready. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of people tell me the deposits are ready. Like, man, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Don't be ready. I'm gonna be honest. Because most times, I'm just in my 17 years of experience, people tell me they're ready. Like, hey, man, I got all of, I got the money. Money in the issue. They be the ones with the money issues. People who really buy a doll from me, because they come to me prepared, ready. They don't have to speak on it or get everybody's attention on it. They call me, get the dog, boom. I usually have people who ready talk a lot and tell me a lot what they're going to do when they're going to get a dog years and years and years later. Then they go, hey, don't forget about me, man. I want you to let you know and buy a dog. Like, bro, trust me. I'm not saving your number in my phone. People stop doing that. People be like, yo, save my number, man. You remember me. And like, I'm I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not saving anybody's number. Only number saved in my phone are people who's actually on the list. That's all I do. Um, I got y'all. Butler Kennels, can you ship a dog? Absolutely we can. Is Rottweiler suitable for first time owners? Yeah, how else are you gonna have a Rottweiler being your first time ever owning a dog? You gotta own a rock. I mean, it's a first time for everybody somewhere. You can own a dog, own a Rottweiler. Um, Tony Jesus, don't make me sell my house and car and drive to Texas and get a puppy. Hey, listen, do it. I got y'all, right? I got y'all. All right, so let me get right to it. Let me let me let me go ahead and get right to it right quick. I'm gonna um. I'm trying to god dang it I'm trying to watch my video i'm sorry mm -hmm. I'm trying to get y'all to see um okay here we go All right, uh, I will have to feed it. Ross beats the Tony, you're always educating me. Thanks, Tina E. No problem at all. Um, may we inbox you about the cleaning products for the puppy kit on Instagram? Sure, but um, if you guys really want like a really like this is just general, like I'm not even giving you the meat of it. If you guys really want a lot of input. I just highly recommend you spending $100 and getting the um, the consultation because that way you get in depth. Because some some people just be like, I don't want to pay for the $100. Just give me, like, I get so many people call me about a dog and says, hey, man. Um, some people call me and says, hey, man, um, can you give me the information on my dog? I got a dog. I didn't buy it from you, but I bought it up from somebody else. And I want to know why my dog is doing this and this. Can you help me with my dog? I'll be like, okay, $100 for a consultation. I'll give it. Yeah, but I don't pay the hundred dollars, man. Or somebody calls me, hey, my dog's in labor, man, and um, I didn't know what I need to do. Okay, consultation, hundred dollars. Nah, man, I, man, man, I got one question, man. It's just one question. I'm like, all right, it's just a hundred dollars too. My time is valuable. When I was giving y'all for free, y'all don't want to go through these videos and watch these things and take your time to watch these videos. Y'all want answers like right now and want to just get on a drop of a dime, on a drop of a dime. And I don't, I got things I got to do as well, so. Um, as well. Um, no disrespect. We are simply desperate for more information. I got you. You want information? I got the information. I got the information for you. I'm just joking with you. Um, y'all, listen. The information is pinned to the top, which means when you get ready to type, it's at the top. It tells you all the information, the time, the tone, and everything else. Um, can we see the video when your dogs take down the cow and start eating? First of all, I do not let my dogs take the cow down. I do that. The, dog, the cow's already gone the humane way to be. I'm not inhumane, you guys. Cows is. I'm grateful for what the cow gives us and what the, what the cow is able to give for us for my dogs to be healthy and big. But I'm not going to just let the dogs just tear the cows alive and tear. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, so it doesn't happen that way. The cows are humanely slaughtered 
and giving to the dogs to eat. Eugene, what's going on, bud? Um, anything dealing with my dogs, anything dealing with my list, my dogs, my prices, or anything, and don't do that either. Another thing, don't not just call me. Hey, how long's your waiting list? Like, whoa, whoa, what? How long is what waiting list for? What? What do you want? Like, who are you? Like, that's some of the things that get me. So, uh, I'm gonna get started with my story for you guys, man. Um, let me see. Houston here, visiting soon. Do you offer tours? No, I do not. I am not getting you guys that go travel around the world and having all this fun and bringing all that stuff to my kennel and my dogs get sick and then you guys leave, then I got to deal with my dog sick on my own, which ended up on the top of me cost. How much does it cost? It's going to cost me my whole kennel because you guys thinking that, hey, we just saw the dog. We didn't have no problem. It's not intentional, but you can travel and bring problem in my yard and everything else. That's why I limit my kennel time to people who are coming to pick up a dog and those dogs only. I'm not have my kennel's not open just for visitation because you just happen to be in Texas and want to come and see my dogs. I'm a busy person. I'm one man and I do a lot of different jobs and I like I'm not doing comparison to anybody else, but I, I'm just saying averagely I'm probably doing about what three husbands do on a daily basis. And that's just what I feel like, you know what I mean? Um Um Skip What it do, Bubba? uh so proud of you and the brain you have built for yourself thank you very much man i i really listen the reason why i could i can come to you guys this before i tell the story about trees um it's because i am grateful and i'm very thankful and don't get it twisted i'm not i'm not big headed to where i feel like oh it's just me like you guys have came along for this journey some of you guys are coming on now because you see it popping Get on the bus, baby. The bus still wide open. Some of you guys been with me since day one. Some of you guys been in and off and iffy and, you know, a little bit of, little, you know. But either way it goes, um, I am very much grateful for you guys. And I'm very happy, man, to be in a position where I'm at tonight. Um, uh, I have some country people around me. So, so what it is is that, honestly, it's, it's to the point where I am in a position now where... Dreams do come true, you guys. And I'm going to tell you right now. If you don't believe in dreams coming true, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. If you Dreams don't come true by just having a dream. You got to go up there and work for it. When I tell you guys that I am working, I mean I am working day in and day out. I get up here. I work. I work. I work. I have, I have four little ones that I got to take care of, man. Five and six, including myself. So it's, it's, I get up here because I'm motivated by what I love, what I do, and my purpose of doing it. And if anybody has an issue with that, man, please just value my time and everything else. If you're calling me and you're asking just about where I'm at on the list, where I'm at on the list, where I'm on the list, trust me, I got y'all, man. Hey, stop chewing on my gun. Hey, don't you. Bruh. Anyway, so um, thank you very much, man, for everybody who's been telling me good luck. Congratulations. Um, I don't even know where we are even at. Let's see where we're at right now. Um... So we at 99,300. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, the like button, notification bell, all that good stuff. Y'all guys know what we about doing Um, as well. Uh, do you recommend medicine? I just got it all there. all work, pay the passion. Okay, I plan on investigating. People, people are asking to see the dog. Should subscribe to the page. Plenty of videos. I think so too, Tone. If you want to see my dog, then... Go look at my videos, man. I got more videos than any other person up there I know of. And I mean, of the dogs, I show my dogs. Um, I might go around last show the dogs. But anyway, let me get to this here because it's already been an hour and 33 minutes, Mike. Um, uh, so, true story. True, true story. Um, Teresa and I grew up together, right? And elementary. So I'm gonna stick on the bus story, but be going even younger. You know what I mean? Um, like, my dad would drive the bus and stuff, right? Like he drive the bus for the summer and stuff or whatever. Trees had like failed some classes, so she was in summer school. I was just there, you know, cause my dad drove. Okay, I'm lying. Trees is smarter than me. I ain't gonna lie. I can't use that one. I can't even lie. Um, but reality is that we used to do the summer program together. We go to the church and all that kind of stuff. There, my dad would drive the bus. We're little kids, like when I say little kids, we are little kids, right? Um, hold on. 
Um, all right, so we're like little kids, like really little elementary kids or whatever. Trees had these little pigtails in her hair like this, and they'd be like that, right? And it looked like that. So it, so it looks like a little ant. So I was like, yo, what up, ant? You know, I ain't mean nothing by it. It was just like, it just came to mind because I saw like a little ant lizard on a little hair. It was like that. And I was like, yo. So I was walking by it. I just pulled it a little bit, right? And her little head went. She said, you better stop playing with me. You better stop playing. I was like, girl. Then, she, you know, you know them girls do that stuff. They be looking at you like, mm-hmm. She's like, you better stop playing with me. And she had that tight roll. Y'all know them rollers and your mama giving them little rolls in the front. And she had sprayed that all night. It was really hard and crisp. It was like a hard, like an armadillo. It was hard in the front. Like, that, like the curl in the front was so tight. Oh, my God. Man, listen. The curl was so tight, I tapped it. I broke my finger. I was like, God dang, Treese. Like, God, no. Well, back then, it was just Treese and Treese, you know what I mean? So, I was like, what up, Treese? I was drove by her, that little pigtails. I was like, yo, what's up? I pulled on it. She saw me, you know what I'm saying? I was macking. You know, I was macking. I was a little GQ. You know, I was a little GQ back in the day. I had my hat front. I had my hat forward. That time, I was walking like this. You know, because you know, I was born with a hat. I was born with a hat. So I was walking through the bus. You know, y'all know, like, listen, let's be real, right? Y'all all know, I hit my hat, bro. Y'all all know when, yes, I do have hair, okay? In case anybody's wondering, like, yo, Tony don't have hair. That's why you wear a hat. No, I wear a hat because I was born with a hat. Like, doctor had a hat. Anyway, I'm not even going through that story with the doctor. So anyway, y'all know that first day of school, when y'all had y'all clothes all laid out for those who really took time with yourselves, those people, if this don't make sense to you, then you're one of the people that we talked about. Um, so I laid my outfit out all nice, had my pants ironed, which some of you guys don't know nothing about that. It's called a hot thing, a hot piece of metal. You plug it up and you iron your pants, you get a little crease in it. It lets you know and everybody else know you took time with yourself and you ironed your pants. Nowadays, people put in the dryer and just call it a day. But listen, I'm not talking bad about you. I'm not talking bad about Sky because Sky don't know what the iron is. She never had an iron a day in her life. I'm not talking bad about her. Um, so I'm just saying that I ironed my pants really, really good and I was like really smack. I was, I was macking. I had some real good shirt. You know what I'm saying? Like people like me and Shandy, we were like the cool kids on the bus, right? You know, me and Shandy were the cool kids on the bus. Sky sat in the front of the bus, couldn't sit in the back because she was one of them people. She she had that gap though, y'all know she had that. Pap, 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 pap. Anyway, um, anyway, so I come on the bus. I'm 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 laced up. Back in the day, you know, we had those name brand shirts and shoes. Now my shoe wasn't name brand. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't have name. I had pay less shoes, but they were clean. They were clean. I didn't have a job. I, I listen. Gotta be gotta gotta be good with what you got. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm sitting there. I walk by. I see trees, right? I see trees. Trees sees me, Mackin. I see trees, and like one of her hair, like one of the little one of her little bins have moved. And I was like, oh snap! She got like an antenna on it. So I go sit in the seat to get a closer look at it. Not that I was trying to mack or anything, but my vibe was so good. You know, she was like, she's automatically scooted over in the seat. She's like, Hi. And she was so shy. She was like. Oh, she was like, hi. And I was like, yo, what's going on? How you doing, little mama? You know what I'm saying? How you doing? You doing good? Okay. So I reached out to touch her hair, and she ordered and moved in for a kiss. And I was like, whoa, little mama, too, too, too fresh, too, too soon. Now, like this, 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 this hot butter right here, maybe hot butter. You know what I'm saying? Hot butter. So I um, I had a bunch of zippers on me. I had a bunch of zippers. You, you guys know back in the day we used to fold those letters in like a little envelope. If you don't know, you're too young for this or whatever. You know, we fold letters up. So I was like, Ma, I'm going to chill for a little bit with the cool kids in the back. And she's like in the middle kind of sort of thing. You know what I mean? She's in the middle. So I walk all the way to the back of the bus. And as I'm looking at the back of the bus, the other, few ki the other cool kids like Shandy was out there. Like Jill was out there. Like Kyle. Kyle was like in the middle too. Like he was like a trees too. Like. He was like nerdy, but at the same time, he was kind of like cool sometimes. Like we used to use him for his snacks and stuff. That was it. Um, yeah, so we did it. So I see her and I was like, yo, um, I was like, what's going on? Whatever the case is. She was like, hey, so the whole time we driving, she was just eyeing me really hard. Like, and I was like, yo, is she, is she looking at me or is she looking at something else? Because her eye was really like this. 
And then she had corrected it. I mean, she looked, it's, it's good now. Don't get me wrong. It's good. Okay, I'm lying. She never had a cross eye. Um, it was a person sitting next to her. Her friend had a cross eye. I'm not going to say her friend's name. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, I was with the cool kids and we got the bus. And she just kept holding on to me. Like, I would go out places. She just kept holding on to me and was like, yo, I want to be with you, the cool kid. And I was like, and that's when the song came up. I wish that I could be like the cool kids, be like the cool kids, and uh, uh, be like the... Okay. Um, that's my story, you guys, man. I'm sticking to it. You don't... Only a hater or a liar is going to call that story fake. Just know that. So if you call my story fake, you're a hater and you're a liar. So if you don't want to be a, a hater and a liar, just say, great story, Tony, and we keep it moving all the way, right? Um, oh... Via, oh my God! Did you just say you believe? Via, don't listen. Listen, you know what? I'm blocking you, bro. I'm block. We just had a good conversation today, man. I'm gonna block you. You know what I mean? Um, y'all like my singing? Like I can sing. I can really sing. So I know I'm gonna sing for you guys, right? I'm gonna sing. Well, when I hit 100k, I'm gonna really sing a song that really. It's a real true song, like a song that's, it's not a song nobody's ever heard it before. Well, some people heard it, but not, me and Teresa heard it, because I sang it, I sang it for her, you know what I'm saying? Um, the song went a little like, I'm, 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 I'm going to give y'all a little sample right quick before I go. Um, <laughs> Mike said, Tony said her friend was cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tony, you a dang lie with all due respect. Bro, what? How dare you call me? Man, listen. Sing Old MacDonald. <laughs> the writer of the story makes movie as <laughs> I probably never again. See, y'all know why, why Kyle just said that? Because Kyle was the one with a nerd. Like, I'm telling you. See, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Kyle was the one that nobody even liked, really. Kyle's parents just had a lot of good money, and Kyle's would bring good snacks on the school bus. But y'all didn't know, like, I, like me and Kyle grew up together too, as well. Like Kyle was with us as well. That's why you see us talking a lot. So Kyle was the one who parents had that really good money, and Kyle used to just like spend big money, man. Like he used to bring, like we used to have those um, family dollar snacks. He had the Walmart brand, like the real true brand, like that was real good. But we didn't really like Kyle. Kyle just had a lot of money and stuff. So, but. Now Kyle's showing off now or whatever now. <laughs> nerds <in> right now. <laughs> so Kyle's bringing a lot of nerds back and forth to the candy bar. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys some more stuff. Make sure you guys the puppies before I head out and out, man. And then we are going to go. Um, see, see this little bad puppy? Look at her. Look at her. Caught red-handed. Puppies over there. Mama caught. Y'all done tore up my seat. Y'all hear it? It was snowing this now, too. She was sleeping. I wish that I could be like the cool kids, be like the cool kids. I wish that I. See, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go in here, y'all. Don't worry. I'm going to go right in here. You know why I can go in here? Because she knows. See the other puppies who can be around her? Most puppies will try to, most mama dogs will try to growl at the other puppy. I wish that I could be like the cool. Give me that teeth. Give me that tooth. Give me the tooth. Give me the tooth. See them? Like, hey, y'all. Hey, auntie. See this one, see this one sleeping. Look at the sleeping one. Look at the sleeping beauty. See this one sleep so much. Look at the one just sleeping for no reason. Just sleepy. Just sleepy. It's just sleepy. <laughs> Cheryl, that's not about you, Cheryl. You're not the. Sh you. I stated in the beginning, Cheryl. It wasn't about you. You. You're a different Cheryl. Cheryl don't even have a last name. See, you got a last name. See, it's not you. You're Cheryl. You're not the Cheryl we're talking about. You're the good Cheryl, all right? <laughs> I got you. Look at those bears. I'll be calling the cops. <laughs> hey, call the cops. Oh, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what's up there, right? I'm, I'm going to show y'all. No, I'm not going to do this. But, oh, stop following me, you little bums. Move. Y'all see Isaac in the um, Isaac and Tish on this video? Y'all see what he got me? This is what Isaac got me right here, you guys. Seriously, no jokes, all jokes aside. This is what Isaac got me right here. This is what he gave me. 
So if you guys ain't giving me something like this, then I'm not cool with you. You know what I mean? I am not. I'm just joking with y'all. But um, I just want to honestly tell you, my brother, um, on here, uh, I was just like a brother to me, man. You know what I mean? He's like that older brother, but like that mutual respect brother. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm really happy. So now I can I get to do it, play with it, and do. I got I got to do some, a lot more work on it, but the the gift and everything is very very meaningful. All, all you guys have given me stuff, man. Honestly, to God, I really appreciate it. I don't do things for gifts, but I do want to tell you guys I do appreciate it. Like I am. God honest, Kyle, all to the side, Kyle's has sent gifts, man. Um, Alton has sent, uh, Alton bought me a generator when y'all know in Texas we had that really bad stuff or whatever happened. Um, he bought me that generator, right? Didn't even tell me, he just bought it and put it at the door. So I wanna humbly tell everybody on my page and tell you guys, thank you, thank you very much. That it doesn't go unnoticed, it's not something that I just take for granted. Cause you guys don't have to give me anything. But when you do give me things, I do like to tell people thank you and I appreciate you. So mm -hmm. Isaac, appreciate that, my brother. Uh, you didn't have to. I, I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> shut up. Um, shut up. See, this is what y'all came to see anyway. But um, I do have some things I got to get done tonight in my house and do some stuff. So you guys, thank you very much, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Um, <laughs> um, nah, sure, I gotta change our picture. I'm sick. I'm sick. <laughs> we not getting Lamar. <laughs> oh yeah, man. You know what? Oh my goodness, you right. You are so right. Hold up, sure, sure. You got a picture of Lamar. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. We man, I was hoping we got Lamar Jackson too, man. But anyway, you guys see it, man. Hope you guys are being blessed, being good, treating each other right. Um, <laughs> yeah, he definitely is, man. Um, thank you, man. I hope you guys do share this video. I hope you guys do like it, share it, and forward to your friends and family and stuff, man. I really, it really means a lot. You may not think that one share or that one subscription doesn't mean a lot. It does. It adds up and it does mean a lot to me when we share it. The more it goes, the more we all get educated. And the more we're educated, the more we can make better decisions on our dogs that we do have. Even if you don't get a dog from me, you don't have to only buy a dog from me, but I do want you to get a quality dog and the right dog that suits you best for everybody, all right? So thank you guys very much, man. It really means a lot to me. Tell a friend, tell a friend, share this on your Facebook page. If everybody shared this on their Facebook page, man, it would mean so much because it lets me know you shared it. So share it on your Facebook page, share it on, send it to whatever, whoever your friends are. Let them know, hey, man, this is a real guy right here that will let you know the real truth, what we do um, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I don't run my, my garage is a hot mess right now because I'm working on it. I'm working and I'm working. All right, so my, I think it looks like Ashy. Anyway, we're going to go anyway. So you guys be good. Treat each other right. Love you guys, man. Um, you guys enjoy y'all weekend. Do not call me, well, call me tomorrow, but I'm going to be busy tomorrow as well, too. So love you guys. Y'all guys be good. Um, I'm out. Deuces. Ba -dum -ba -dum.